Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now joining me is Superior Livestock Representative, Mike Arnold. Mike, you are no stranger to Superior Sunrise, to the auction room, um, but you know you're here to kind of talk about something a little different this morning. Um, Ralph and I talked about it yesterday. Um, on Tuesday night, we had um, our Rep Awards Banquet where we had the opportunity to celebrate all the achievements that our, that our reps make um, throughout the year. And we introduced a new award this year. We introduced the Bill Brody Service Award. And you were the recipient of, uh, of that award. Um, let's talk about, uh, you know, one of the reasons you were the recipient was because of, of your work with the All-American Beef Battalion. But, um, you know, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, the All-American Beef Battalion and uh, what you guys do and, and your relationship with Bill and, and really what it means to you. Well, uh, we were in Winnemucca, Nevada, and uh, Bill got to thinking. We were starting to hear a lot of negative reports about our military, and, you know, Bill left a leg in Vietnam. And so he said, fellas, y'all back me up. We don't want these kids coming home like we, we did when we came home. And he said, can you help me? So we got on board, started working. Superior jumped on board right away, uh, you know, even before the people that have it now. Jim Odell got involved. Then we served all the first responders during Hurricane Harvey, and Bill stayed right there with us all the way, but we couldn't have pulled it together without Robert Yark. I mean, he was gathering food, and he was down there, had his sleeves rolled up, had his entire family working, and, you know, of course, we had to, the Fort Worth office was calling people to get more, more buns, more food, more this, more that. So, you know, I got awarded with it, but it really speaks to who Superior is in the family, uh, because... Whatever I needed, I don't know how they were getting it, but they were getting it. <laughs> well, that's one of the things, you know, Mike, we talk about all the time, the Superior family, um, how important it is, the relationship that we have with our consigners, the reps th that they have with each other, the employees. But I think this, this, the All-American Beef Battalion, the Bill Brody Service, Service Award, the relationship that you have with the Brodies, this is really the perfect example and really embodies what the Superior family truly is. Yeah, and the one thing about Bill Brody, he taught every one of us how to be a true patriot. You know... I mean, he'd put combat boots on even with one leg. He was ready to go back anytime anybody was ready. And anybody that knows Bill knows that that's the truth because you'd never meet a more solid patriot than Bill Brody. Yeah, well, so we introduced this award. This will be a yearly award now that we will give. It'll be a peer-driven award um, that we will give to someone um, based on, on their um, efforts within the community, serving others. Um, you know, and it also came with um, a $1,000 donation that you can choose to give to the charity of your choice. We know that you're going to give that to the All-American Beef Battalion. Mike, you know, I appreciate you coming on and talking about Bill and the All-American Beef Battalion, but I can't let you get out of here without talking about the cattle that you have on this week. Yeah, I've got several pretty good lots uh, of cattle on. Uh, a lot of these cattle will be dried out, be pretty good. We're going to kind of keep them quarter year and less. Uh, I have a couple, and it, the descriptions are accurate. I have a few that have, will have a few three-eighths on them, but a good bunch of cattle on there, and I'd like for everybody to take a look at them. Mike, I appreciate you being on this morning. I know you're very busy. Thank you very much. Thank you for all you do for Superior. We appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned. After the break, we'll close the show with world champion auctioneer Charlie Cummings.